Do I don't know. Think, I should man. just stay away and not do it. But it's hard. This is a beautiful coach. Dean, when we were down in Florida, you were mentioning you might be ready to upgrade. I don't know why you would want to do that when you've already got the best looking exterior paint job on the road. Why would you want to trade in? I don't know, Andrew. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense, but that's how I do things. It's a beautiful day here in Sturgis, South Dakota. Today I'm hanging out with Dave Wall from Liberty Coach. Hey guys, how are you today? Beautiful day in South Dakota. You ought to be here. We're in this absolutely stunning 2015 Liberty Coach. Dave's going to be sharing a ton of great wisdom with us today. Dave, what's going on? It's a 15. It's one of many very, very nice coaches we have in inventory. This is a one owner coach. It's been garage kept, Texas coach, southern coach, never been in salt, great condition. And it's a triple slide with the two slides in the rear and then the aft shower. Come on, walk through. We'll show you the coach. We started with the 99. We went to the 05. This is the 08 and everything on it is just perfect and I'm real particular about every aspect of it. We bought it because we love the inside and because the inside I don't have to change. So we're hanging out here at Sturgis and you kind of mentioned, I remember you mentioned in Florida that you've been eyeballing some coaches, but then every time like the camera was off yesterday, you started saying, well, no, I'm really thinking about that 2015 next door. And I'm like, you know what? No, we need to get the camera on and let let everybody know what you're thinking. I know you probably don't like to let everybody know your thoughts before you make any moves, but what do you like about this 2015? Exterior doesn't mean so much to me. Interior means a lot. So the inside of this coach was absolutely gorgeous. A matte gray finish, and it had a diamond pattern in the doors that they did. I've never seen anything like it before. So I, you know, I spent some time in it, started thinking. Beautiful kitchen area that's here. Plenty of storage, garbage cans, functional. Hidden places for paper towels. Two burner Gagano cooktop. Neely oven, which is a combination oven and microwave. I can have it on the oven setting in 350, or if I just want to change it over to microwave, I have a regular microwave setup. Carried coffee maker, control center for the coach, Crestron controls, our exclusive Maritz multiplex electrical system, which is basically a uh, the brains for the coach. Then we have uh, four inverters, two inverter control panels up top. Ladies and gentlemen, we have another special guest today, the legendary Dean Lauch. Hey everyone, beautiful coach here. When we're done looking through the inside of this coach, Dean's gonna show us the exterior of this paint job. And this is probably one of my favorite paint jobs on the road that you've ever done. So, but let's, uh, let's keep looking at this coach. So well, uh, the biggest problem we have in this industry is everybody starts off building on the Prevo chassis. And then that's where the differences change. We build a completely different coach than what the other manufacturers do. And we've stuck to our plan to being very, very lightweight with having the most equipment on board. We do a lot of lightweight compositry in the cabinetry, the ceiling, the lower walls. Uh, when we started building slide coaches 20 plus years ago, we started using lightweight composite materials because we wanted to pull weight out of the coach because the slides from Prevo add weight. So with the system that we're using, we're pulling 2,500 pounds out of the initial build weight of the coach and then still having more equipment on board than, uh, than most of our competitors are using currently. It was just stunning on the inside. And that's what I get. I got to find something that's just, the inside is perfect, you know, then I can change the outside. Well, with this, I think if I change the copper, the copper orange color, to blues, yeah. Some of, other, some of the other stripes, I got it. I don't have to change the whole paint job. I don't have to put, you know, all the time and labor it took to do the last one. And this has already got my paint job on it, so I, th I think I could I could tweak it a little bit and then have something stunning to and newer. You know, I, I like the copper. I mean, for a Harley guy, the copper definitely works. But you're well, a blue the, guy, yeah. Well, the customers that, that bought it just love it the way it is. But of course. I'd have to have the blues. You like you, uh, you need, everything gonna, you own is blue. It's gonna, it's gonna match. You'd have to buy a new car, a new motorcycle, <laughs> new shoes, Change a whole new wardrobe. Yeah. Cards, it's socks. gonna be blue for a while. You know, this has got the the new battery technology. This particular 15 is a lithium ion phosphate system. It's a master volt battery system. So you're gonna have a lot longer charge time, run times. Your refrigerator's gonna run longer. 
we're going to be able to run two roof airs off of our inverters for up to eight hours without having to have the generator or charge the batteries back up. All of our cabinetry, this is all done CNC CAD cam. I actually just pop the cabinets out. Extremely lightweight composite. Let wow. Andrew hold that. There's virtually no weight. Wow, I didn't realize yeah. how light that is. You're, but you're you feeling can, the weight of the hardware. And the you can components. still feel the quality. It just it seems like a super high quality yeah. material. Uh, Pre-finished wood veneer. And then we do a laminate to this. And then we pot these areas in with epoxy resin so we have a place to attach to. And we do inset cabinets and our earlier coaches, our you know, cabinet architecture is always changing to go along with what the latest innovations are in the marketplace. Uh, this is one of our coaches that actually has four roof air conditioners on board. And you have 21,000 BTUs of air on the dash. Then we have another evaporator in the front left fender and another 15,000 BTUs there. So I can run those systems going down the road. Then I can run two individual ACs off the inverters going down the road without ever having to power up the generator when I'm under power going down the road. Dean, while you're sitting here, Dean, you're a Liberty Coach owner. What's your favorite thing about owning a Liberty Coach? Everybody we get to meet, you. Hey, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Someone help me. What else is going on in this coach? Well, let's talk about our, our electrical system. In uh, 2008, during the tough times of our market and the recession, we changed the whole electrical architecture of the coach. Instead of having rows and rows of marine style breakers, we went to a, a complete multiplex system. So in that multiplex system, instead of having all this heavy cabling and wiring, it came up to the central distribution panel in the coach. We reduced that. We dropped about 400 pounds of copper wire out of the system. And the way this system operates is if I want an air conditioner to come on, boom, it's on. The second I depress that, it sends a wireless signal to a relay on a mechanical breaker. If it happens to trip, the icon will be in red. I can reset it. If it trips again, there's nothing to go ohm out or check out. It's either the component or where it's getting its power source from. But this is a CAN bus system that has communication boxes that work wirelessly, which is also what Prevo does on their chassis. And we're the only manufacturer that has this system in their coach. Uh, we spent a lot of time, development, research to get to that, and it is very much state of the art. Ladies and gentlemen, this coach is currently for sale, but they do have a prospective buyer. His name is Dean. <laughs> <laughs> and I love this coach. This thing is awesome. Love everything about it. He's a little partial to the paint job. That's only because it's his work. Well, it doesn't have blue on it, but it could. It could. It could. Anything can happen. Somebody in the Liberty Coach family that probably doesn't give enough kudos for what they do would be uh, Kurt Koenigsetter and his wife, Kim. Kurt is the brains behind the design work on how all the cabinetry flows, how our layouts are done, uh, how every part of the coach flows as you go back through it. If you notice, there's no squared edges in this coach. We're radiuses on everything that we do. We're inset cabinetry. Um, and the other one is his wife, Kim. She is our interior decorator, designer. And she designs every interior and every Liberty coach. She goes everywhere that there is any new innovation or anything coming out, and she's on the leading edge of what's out there in design for today. Starting in 2014, we started doing heating floors in our coaches. Now this has got an Amtico vinyl floor that's individually laid in. They're all bevel cut. We do another subfloor on top of Prevost floor, and then we come back in and we bond them and we plane that back down dead level. But in, the, in between that, we do an electric mat system. So we have two zones, left and right in the front. We have a central zone, then we have a bedroom zone, and that is even heating for the whole coach. Yeah. This, is, this is one of our, our, our best floor plans that we've done, probably more models uh, that we've sold in this layout. As you go back through here, this is gonna have uh, dual access to the head. We can actually have a pocket door that closes off the hallway, and then you have private access from the front of the coach. If you had someone living in the front area of the coach, then we can close that off and close off the hallway complete, and then another entry into the bedroom. This particular coach has got three slides, so forward slide, then we have two bedroom slides. And in this particular layout, we've got the large aft shower. It's been the most oh, popular wow. of our layout really large shower back there and it's kind of tucked behind that wall great layout a big thing that we do we elevate the floor slightly and all of our plumbing that pertains to the shower to any wastewater or anything actually is above the floor in this coach so all that is in a heated area and it's pumped forward to where the holding tank is all heated area 
king size bed. This has got one of our new Prana sleep mattresses that uh, we do in every new coach that we build. Uh, this particular coach has got iPad integration. So we have a remote iPad in the front, another iPad back here that can both pop off the wall, easy to use. Uh, this particular coach is in motion satellite and HD satellite. So we have three receivers, one dedicated to the in motion and then two for HD. In our switching system that we do, if you ever had a satellite receiver failure, I can play the other receiver on any other TV location in the coach. Nice. And in the front with multiple TVs, if you wanna watch one channel on one TV and a different channel on the other drop TV that's in the slide room, you can do that off two individual receivers. Is that green lighting that matches? It's a really cool design. It's just design. With the LED and the green, it's just sort of picking up on the, on the, the tint that's in the fabric. Okay. But those are not green blinds, or they are? No, they're all no. neutral. It's just tying together nice. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking you guys may see, uh, what is it, an 08 Liberty Coach and Stacker trailer over at the pre-owned lot over at Liberty Coach pretty soon. <laughs> I don't know, Dean, what I do you don't think, know, I should man? just stay away and not do it, but it's hard. This is a beautiful coach. Would you be able to repaint your Stacker trailer, or would you keep that with the coach, or what would you do I'd if you ever sold it? Yeah, yeah that, just do something different. I, yeah. Dave, I think you got a potential customer here already, so. <laughs> Never know. I'm always trying to get in his pocket. <laughs> Good deal. Well, Dean, why don't we uh, cruise outside and talk about this paint a little bit? What I like about this coach is that I've got uh, a, a pattern in here that's ghosted. And uh, if you can see the white on the white, and uh, it flips as you move around, it kind of goes away. But for, oh, three, four feet, it's ghosted. And then as, as you come back, becomes a little more prominent as you can see it back here I have a darker gray but then the does this pattern go all the way through oh yeah look at that so that pattern is really ghosted at, say it starts you know this pattern starts right here and it's ghosted and then it just keeps getting a little brighter a little brighter all the way back very subtle differences and that's what I think makes what we do very classy Oh, absolutely. It's a very subtle change, but yet there's some kind of extreme patterns going on. And this is almost similar to your bus. I see kind of some of that same similar pattern there. Yeah, when you look at it, it's a totally different pattern, but yeah, it's got some shapes that would be, uh, I, I could work with. We were killing it back in 2015, man. This was a, yeah. this is a great, yeah. great design. So what else? Well, is we, were, we were trying to pick up on, uh, you know, you, you think of patterns or stripes. So a stripe is, is like this pinstripe, okay? And then you got a pinstripe here on either side, then that makes a stripe when you stand back and look at it. Well, this tear pattern makes a stripe, but it's got a lot of detail. You got to peel out all the pieces and it's a lot of extra masking and such, especially every time it comes into a door, those, those pieces all have to wrap around and those shapes. So it takes a lot of masking to make it look right. The idea is if you only use it in one area, it doesn't really make a lot of sense so you know we've got it on top and then we've got it used up front and then it kind of feels like it's a it's that tear pattern is working throughout the whole coach and throughout the design so most of the paint that we use is readily available um, we we have oh a lot of different flakes pearls of uh, different effects that we've generated over the years but you know a manufacturer has to to make it and then you find it and you use it the idea is if everyone has access to it, it's how do we use ours differently than they do? So this is a metallic, which looks great on a car. This gray here would be, you know, you would tell that it's it's a gray metallic because the hood and the fenders where it rolls around, you're gonna see it in the sunlight. The sidewall on a coach is 12 feet of flat and it works differently. So the paints need to be used a little differently. In this case, we've used a, a pearl a metallic paint in the background with a bigger flake that really sparkles and the idea is that out of the sunlight as we walk down you can see what's going on but when the sun sets and it's hitting the side this will be more predominant than almost anything else on the side for that brief period of time so it's a story it's happening at different times with different lighting and we got to choreograph everything that's going on so that it looks right when it happens. In the face of these trying times we have going on, we're seeing more people focus on their individual lives and lifestyles. Our business is taking an uptick. It's, uh, it's doing really, really well right now, but we do not have a shortage of inventory and we have inventory turning over all the time. So if we don't currently have something that you're looking for, please contact us, particularly contact me, Dave Wall.
772-349-7020. I'll help you find your next coach. Give him a call if you're a serious buyer only. Make sure to keep an eye on Liberty Coach's website because these coaches get sold quickly. Incredible coach. Now, it did get sold already, so yes. unfortunately... I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Mine could be for sale. Looks like you're going to have to keep hunting and, and see what else is coming, huh? Oh, that's what's good. If, if I'm ready for it, I, I can respond even quicker. So next one maybe, maybe won't get away.